I'm pretty sure most of you have been using Android for a number of years now, just like me. And I'm sure you're all aware of all the basic options and settings in it. But there are various settings that you can change to really enhance your experience on Android. What's up guys, this is Rupesh from bbomb.com and today I'm going to show you 10 Android settings that you should change right away. These options will definitely enhance your Android experience. Before we get started, make sure to hit the bell icon to get notifications for all our future videos. Also, this video has been brought to you by the good folks at RhinoShield, who make some great cases and screen protectors that bring protection while looking good on your phones. If you're someone who types like I do, that is very fast, I'm sure typing a number slows you down. Nothing's gonna slow you down now. Gboard lets you have a separate number row in the keyboard. Now I'm pretty sure you've seen the separate number row in Gboard in some apps. But if you want the number row in Gboard everywhere, here's how to get it. Just go to the Gboard settings page. Here go to preferences and enable the number row option. Once done, you should see the number row every time you have the Gboard keyboard open. No more long pressing or moving to the symbols page to type numbers. Also, if you're annoyed by the auto correction in Gboard, just head to the Gboard settings page and here go to text correction and just disable auto correction. This will make sure that Gboard won't correct you, but you'll see the suggestion strip so you can correct yourself manually. If you have a huge phone like this one, you know how tough it gets to access the address bar in Chrome when using the phone with one hand. Yes, it's disastrous. However, there is a way to get the address bar in Chrome to the bottom and attain some peace. Here's how to do it. In the address bar of Chrome, type this, which will take you to the Chrome Flags page. Here tap on the three dot menu button and tap on find in page. Now search for the Chrome home flag. Change the flag from default to enabled. Once done, tap on relaunch now. That is it. You should now see the address bar in Chrome at the bottom. Lock screen notifications are handy, right? Well, not always. People can easily see your personal and sensitive info from the notifications on the lock screen. Who wants that? So if you have been wondering how to hide sensitive content from the lock screen, here's how to do it. Just go to the notification settings, tap on the settings cog icon on the top right, then just configure notifications to hide sensitive notification content. Once done, you will see that the contents of the notifications are hidden from the lock screen. I install a lot of apps and if you do too, you must have noticed that Android automatically creates shortcuts of the newly installed apps on the home screen. I'm not sure why shortcuts are created for every app out there. If I want to see all my installed apps, I would go to the app drawer, right? Anyways, this really messes up the home screen. Thankfully, you can disable it. You can just go to the Play Store settings in the Play Store, obviously. Here, just untick the option that says Add Icon to Home Screen for new apps. And that's it you shouldn't see any shortcuts for new apps that you install. What a relief. Android features various animations and transitions when you're switching between different pages, apps, and they sure look fancy. But at times, the two seem to be slowing things down a bit. Well, you can speed up animations to speed things up in your device. First, you'll have to enable developer options for this. Just go to about phone, tap on the build number seven times to enable it. Now just go to the developer options in the settings page and scroll down till you find the animation scale options. Here you can speed up the window animation, transitions and the animated duration scale. I can set it to 0.5x and you can see there's a difference already. Everything just feels so fast. You can even turn off notifications here to really speed up things. But I'd recommend you to choose 0.5x for the perfect balance. If you'd like to see those fancy animations even better, you can slow down the animations here. Google Play Protect, the recently rolled out security feature for Android, scans the device for regular security threats, and it's pretty great. 
Well, I know it's enabled by default, but there's one option that's not enabled, and that is something I think you should enable for better security. Go to Google Settings, here scroll down and go to the Security option and tap on Google Play Protect. Now just enable the Improve Harmful App Detection option. This is important because most malware and viruses come via unverified apps from third-party sources. And this option will give Play Protect the rights to access unknown apps for better detection. Last year, when Google announced Android Nougat, it introduced a sleek new feature, dubbed Instant Apps, which would be apps that won't be installed on your phone. Instead, you'd be able to access these apps via the browser, try them and see if they're good enough to be installed. Seems handy, right? Well, after months of wait, Instant Apps are finally available. However, you'll have to enable them on your Android smartphone. Just go to Google Settings. Here, find the Instant Apps option and simply enable it. That's it, now let's try an instant app. Just search for the app you want to try. For instance, I am searching for the Wish shopping app. You can see the instant mark in its search result. You can just tap on the link of the app and it will open up as any regular app. It works just like any app would without taking up storage in your phone. Sadly, not many app developers have updated their apps to support instant apps. So you won't find a lot of instant apps to try right now. If you're someone who's struggling with low storage woes on your phone, this setting is just the perfect one for you. I'm talking about the smart storage feature, part of Android 7.1 as well as Oreo. What this feature does is, it removes photos and videos that are 90 days old and have been backed up in Google Photos to free up your internal storage. To enable this, go to storage settings on your phone. Here you should see the smart storage option. Just enable it and all your old photos back in Google Photos will be deleted. Do note that this feature is mostly available in stock Android phones. There are situations that demand you to take out your phone quickly and capture a photo. Now these situations can be tough, but there is an option in Android that can make things a lot more easier. I'm talking about the ability to launch camera by double-clicking the power button. To enable it, just go to settings and search for press power button twice for camera. And you should find the option. Now enable it and that's it. You can just double press the lock button even when your phone is locked to activate the camera. No more getting late in capturing those perfect candid moments. Android Oreo brings autofill to Android. So if you have passwords saved on your Google account via Chrome or if you have your passwords saved in a password manager, you will be able to fill in your credentials inside Android apps with ease. However, you have to enable the autofill service in your device. Go to Languages and Input Settings on your Android Oreo running device. Here you'll find the autofill service option. Just select the autofill service you want. You can select Google or you can select a third-party password manager. Apart from passwords, you'll also be able to autofill personal information, addresses, card details, etc. Autofill in Android Oreo is definitely one of my favorite features. Let's talk about Rhino Shield now, who are the sponsors of this video. The company brings some great cases and screen protectors for most of the popular phones out there, like the iPhones, Note 8, S8, Pixel, OnePlus 5, more phones, and more. We tried it on our Galaxy S8, and well, it's really sturdy to say the least. Rhino Shield offers bumper cases, slim cases, rugged cases, as well as screen protectors designed for high impact. The best thing about Rhino Shield cases is the fact that the company claims to focus more on the material, which makes sure that even though their cases have a high impact protection, they aren't as bulky. Well, those are 10 Android settings that you should change right away. Let us know if you know of any other Android setting that we might have missed out on in the comment section below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.